God says that there is nothing that you can do that would make him love you more. There is also nothing you can do that would make him love you less. He loves you because he loves you, 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 because that is what he is like. It is his nature to love. And you will always be the beloved. And his love is unchanging. And he loves you 100%. He won't love you any better when you become better. He loves you 100% right now. And even if you have no plans to become better, he will still love you 100%. Because he loves you, because that's the way that he is. And even if you don't want to change, he will love you 100%. Even if you have no plans to walk with him, he will love you 100%. Because that's his nature. He loves all the way, all the time. His love is unchanging. What will change, says the Lord, is your ability to receive my love. And this evening, I want to cram some more of that ability inside you. So I challenge you, says the Lord, open your heart to me. Open your heart to me. And you will receive more of my love than you've ever experienced before. I dare you, says the Lord. Come on, open your heart to me. Give me your heart. Give me whatever your obstacle is. I'll take it. I'll remove it out of the way. Because I love you as you are right now. I love you 100% as you are right this moment. I love you as you are. So be loved. You are the beloved. It is your job, says the Lord, to be loved outrageously. It is why I chose you. That is why I set my love upon you. That you would live as one who is outrageously loved. That you would receive a radical love. So radical. It'll blow all your paradigms of what you think love is. And no, says the Lord, I will love you outrageously all the days of your life. Because I don't know how to be any different. This is who I am. And this is who I will always be. This is the I am that I promised you. I am he that loves you outrageously. And you may love me back with the love that I give you. You may love me back outrageously with the outrageous love that I bestow upon you. And know this, says the Lord, you can only love me as much as you love yourself. So my love comes this evening to set you free from yourself, to set you free from how you see yourself, to set you free from the smallness of your own thinking about yourself. My love comes to set you free from rejection and from shame and from low self-esteem and from despair and from abuse. Because when I look at you, says the Lord, I see something that I love. I see someone that I can love outrageously. And I have so much to bestow upon you, so much to give you, so many places to take you in my heart. But you can't go there unless you allow me to love you. And my love for you will break every barrier, bring every wall crashing down. And know this, says the Lord, my love damages fear. My love hates fear. My love will fight fear. It will fight fear in you. It will fight fear around you. And if you have fear this evening, says the Lord, 
then know that you have a treat in store because my perfect love casts out fear. There is no fear where I am present because my love casts out fear. Beloved, you are my beloved. You are my beloved. And in my love, I want you to feel good about yourself. So 